Hello friends. In this video, I explain solution of CPET 2021 mathematics questions. So let us start. Here, question one. The question is given as if A is a set containing the element 0 0.2, 0 0.22, 0 0.222, comma dot dot dot. Then we have to find what is the supremum value of the set A that is the options are supremum of A is equal to 3 by 9, another is 2 by 9, then 4 by 9, and 5 by 9. Here, correct answer is option B is correct one. So, let us try to find out. Here, we have to find the supremum value. So, uh, this 3 by 9 can be written as 3 by 9 is equal to how much? Uh, this one is 0 0.333 dot dot dot. Clear? And this 2 by 9 is written as um, 0 0.222 dot dot dot. Clear? Now 4 by 9 is written as 0. Point, this one is 0. Point 4, 4, 4, dot, dot, dot. and um, 5 by 9 each written as how much 0. 0.555 dot, dot, dot. so this one is 0. 0.22222 that means this one is 2 by 9 and the value of uh, this the set a the supremum value of the set a is this one is 2 by 9 so option b is correct one now come to question number 2. Here, limit n tends to infinity nth root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 up to n square equal to how much? Here, options are minus 1, 1, 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2. Here, option b is correct one. So, let us find out how this one is correct. So, here, Mm, we have to find the limit that means mm, limit this one is limit and tends to infinity mm, this gives uh, 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus dot 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 plus up to n square this one is whole mm, to the power this one is 1 upon n or this can be written as um, this one is limit n tends to infinity this one is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to dot dot n square this can be written as n into n plus 1 into this one is 2n plus 1 whole divided by 6 whole to the power how much whole to the power 1 upon or this one is written as mm, this one is limit n tends to infinity now taking here n is the common and here also n is the common then n cube into 1 plus 1 upon n into mm, 2 plus 1 upon 1 upon n whole divided by this one is 6 and this Whole to the power 1 by n. Now this one is limit n tends to infinity n to the power 3 by n whole into 1 plus 1 by n to the power 1 by n. I think into this one is 2 plus 1 by n whole to the power 1 by n whole divided by 6 to the power 1 by n now taking n tends to infinity here this goes to 1 this quantity goes to 0 and whole this quantity goes to 1 and this also goes to 1 because 1 by infinity this one is 0 so this quantity is 1 so final result is 1 into 1 into 1 whole divided by 1 this is equal to 1 so one is the correct answer that means option 
B is correct one. Now come to question number three. Here, let A and B a sequence of real numbers. Suppose that limit n tends to infinity, A n whole to the power one by n is equal to q. Then which of the following is true? Options are: If u is less than one, then limit n tends to infinity, A n greater than zero. U greater than one, then this uh, absolute limit is equal to infinity. And if q is less than one, then limit a n is less than zero. And q is greater than one, then limit n tends to infinity. Absolute of a n is greater than infinity. Here, option B is correct one. So we know that according to Cauchy's root test, if summation of u n is a positive term series such that limit n tends to infinity u n to the power one by n is equal to l, then the series converges if l is less than 1 diverges if l is greater than 1 and test fails if l is equal to 1 let us write so uh, first of all um, summation this one is un is um, is a positive term series this one is a positive term series positive term positive term series and if uh, this limit n tends to infinity u n to the power u n mod to the power 1 by n is equal to l then the then the series first this one is converges converges if l is less than 1 and second bit says that this one is diverges if l is greater than 1 and test fails test fails if l is equal to 1 so here observe that um, here our sequence is a n and we have to find limit n tends to infinity a n whole to the power 1 by n and this value is q given so here u is greater than 1 that means this one this this l is 1 here l is is equal to q that means q is equal to q is greater than 1 then limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to infinity here this one is the diverges diverges that means limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to infinity we can say that uh, the sequence is divergence then this limit is goes to infinity so this option b is correct one clear this statement can be uh, no. this option is true by using uh, Cauchy's root test this one is Cauchy's root test Cauchy's root test by using Cauchy's root test so question number three is clear now come to question four here limit n tends to infinity root over of n minus 1 whole to the power n equal to how much we have to find the limit here option d is correct one here nothing to be uh, here nothing to solve that means we have to find the direct limit so this one is limit n tends to infinity root over of n minus 1 whole to the power how much this one is n here we cannot uh, fraction it or nothing to be solved so this one is direct putting infinity this one is infinity to the power infinity this goes to direct infinity so option d is correct one now come to question five here given that the set s is um, n plus one whole square by two to the power n and n belongs to set of natural number n then which of the following statement is true the uh, least upper bound of s is 2 least upper bound of s is 1 by 2 least upper bound of s is 9 by 4 least upper bound of s is 25 by 16 so we have to find what is the least upper bound of the set s so here option c is correct one now let us see here the um, value of n is taken from set of natural number and set of natural number consists of this set of natural number consists of the set 